is Aaron Drenth. I'm a second year mechanical engineering PhD student at Colorado State University. Uh, we're in the engines and energy conversion lab at CSU, uh, just off the main campus here. And uh, I'm gonna be telling you about some of the research I'm doing for Colorado corn. I grew up on a farm and uh, one of my rules that I learned at an early age was I was never supposed to, when dad told me to refuel the truck, uh, there was two fuels and the gasoline never went in the diesel trucks, right? So when I start explaining that I'm taking gasoline or other, uh, you know, things like that and, and, and putting them in a diesel engine, uh, people are a little skeptical. So uh, this is one of the things when I tell people about it. So this is, um, well, I even have to look a lot of times. This one's uh, off-road petroleum diesel and this is corn oil with 25% gasoline. So uh, I say, can you, know, can, can you tell the difference because your engine can't either? Um, but that's really what we're trying to decide is, is can, can your engine tell the difference? Can a, can a farmer go to an ethanol plant uh, in the same way they get distiller's grain? So they sell them the corn, they get the distiller's grain back. My model is they get some oil back and it's inexpensive, it's high quality. Um, and they make that into a biofuel on their farm at a significant savings over what they're paying for petroleum. And it's all local markets, so they're all feeding each other, and there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of cost savings there. And you know, like I said, I'd, I think a lot of farmers would rather pay that money back into an ethanol plant that they might have investments in or have more of a vested interest in than paying that same money uh, overseas. Well, this, this round of testing we started last week, so there's a couple projects that getting our engine running like this and taking the data that we need off of it is a pretty significant en endeavor. There's about six people working at one time. There's a lot of data that's collected, so we usually uh, will run two or three tests together. So we're really telling differences between fuels. So we'll do a biofuel compared to petroleum, and in this case, several different blends compared to, I'm also comparing against uh, biodiesel and green diesels and just seeing how everything compares. Success with this fuel would be, uh, is it similar to petroleum? I mean, if, if there's any, if there's any um, does it have the same fuel flow as petroleum or similar? And it doesn't have to be exactly the same, it can be more or less, but as long as it's similar. Does it have the same combustion characteristics? Whether it could be slightly different, but like I said, these engines are designed to run on petroleum, so it needs to be similar. A lot of that has never been determined before. Same with the emissions. Um, so a lot of biofuels bring emission benefits. Uh, we're hoping for that, but as long as it's similar and there's no major degradations in any of the categories, uh, I, th I think that's a success. So a lot of that, that's what we're trying to determine in this testing. Our data so far is, is it's, a, it's a pretty pretty efficient fuel. So it has fuel economy, uh, you know, similar to petroleum. Um, and, you know, it's about one-fourth of the cost 